I've not been having the best time in Warzone lately. Got a gun. Oh, someone's shooting at me. No, dead. Right, we got him. Got that guy. Nice. There we go. Got that one. Oh, it was there. Phew, he hadn't reloaded Don't properly. No, I picked it up at just the wrong time. That was cod timing. And I'm dead. Cool. It just feels incredibly difficult and like I'm getting frustrated more often than not. So I thought I'd take my own advice I always give to people and just play something else for a little bit. So I've been loading up Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, a game that I played tons of when it first came out, but I haven't really played any of for the last few years. For anyone else like me who hasn't been keeping up, PUBG is now free to play on PC and on consoles, and it doesn't have crossplay between console and PC, but it does between Xbox and PlayStation, which is something I know the Warzone community have been asking for for a very long time. I was told by Gagod, who's like a professional PUBG player, that the PC lobbies are super sweaty in PUBG, but the console ones are pretty chilled, you can have a lot of fun, and it does a kind of fun thing where you can just play a casual mode if you want, where loads of the enemy players are bots and people don't seem to take it as seriously. I know Warzone has done something similar to that lately, but apparently it hasn't worked and there's just some really high level players farming everyone else. In PUBG, you genuinely can just drop in and have some fun and get tons of kills because the enemies just aren't that good or they're AI characters. And a lot of the time, it's kind of hard to tell the difference. So you feel like an absolute legend going around blasting everyone to pieces. It has a bunch of different modes. You can play in third person, you can play in first person, you can play ranked if you want. It does have kind of the same problem as Call of Duty where it has kind of limited playlists. So if you want to play first person, which is how I normally like to play, then you have to play in quads, which can be a little bit rubbish. But there's a ton of huge maps and the maps really do feel massive. It kind of makes Warzone feel odd. Like you've got all of these POIs so close to each other, whereas in PUBG, a lot of the maps are pretty huge and it really does feel like you're driving between different villages and towns. There's a lot of empty space between it. The gas comes in incredibly quickly, so you end up using vehicles. And the vehicles are another thing that are a real standout feature to me. They are so much fun to drive. They slide around. You can use the handbrake and kind of spin them around a little bit. It's easy to end up getting them rolling down hills and things like that. There just always seem to be these really cool moments with them and that's PUBG all over. There's so much tension, the gameplay is obviously slower because people aren't slide cancelling and things like that. You can't even head glitch because you can't put your gun up against uh, an edge where your head's just poking over it. Your gun has to be over the wall before you can fire, which is really cool. It just solves a lot of problems that I've had with Warzone lately. And I'm very aware that loads of people are having the best time they've ever had with Warzone. And that is great for them. I'm just getting a little bit tired of it being so samey. I mean, I've been playing Warzone pretty much non-stop since 2020. And now we've had a year where we just got, you know, Fortune's Keep again, Rebirth Island again. We'll probably end up getting Rebirth again. It's just a bit too much for me. And I'm really enjoying the variety that PUBG brings. Now, it's not to say the game is perfect by any means. There's still bits of jank. The menus I find a little bit confusing. There's some weird bugs and things like that. But just as a bit of a refresher, if you're getting a little bit burnt out on Warzone, I heartily recommend it. So let's hop into a full game of the first person mode in PUBG and show you what this is all about. Welcome to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. So this is a normal match. This is a normal quads match, first person only, running on the Xbox Series X. I've got the follow mode on, so I'm just going to be following Sensej to wherever it is that he wants to go. The parachuting following seems a little bit crazy, but it's working. Right, so now we're quite close to ground. I can control it myself. I'll probably go to this big house here on the right and then see what's going on. Looks like he's going to the same place. Do a little roll. Then let's get in start getting stuff. So I've got a backpack. I've got a helmet, a little MP5. MP5 could be useful if um, I come across someone quickly. 
really want to replace that with a DMR and an assault rifle whenever I can. I quite like using the DMRs on this. The Mini 14 seems to be absolutely amazing. So I can put this on and then just go up here, attach my scoop to it. I can put that lightweight grip. Things like lightweight grip will automatically be equipped, I think. Got a level 2 backpack. That seems pretty good. Police vest level 2, good. A frying pan. That's a shotgun. I'm not a massive fan of the shotgun. Mini 14, here we go. So this is what I want. Oh, I already had level 2 vest and I've got a level 2 helmet. So I'm pretty good to go now. Like, I feel like I could take on a fight fairly well. Oh, there's a 6 time scope. I'm not quite sure. Mm, maybe I'll give it a go. I'm not quite sure the six times is worth it with the mini because that's like a long way to be shooting. But we'll give it a go. So one of the things I really like about PUBG is just the tension. It's just so bloody tense all the time that you're like not sure if there's somebody else about. You're not sure where other people are going to be. The sound is pretty good, like you can hear people pretty clearly, so if people are running around you should be able to hear them. Now, um, we've got a little way to go. Let's get into the zone. I'm pretty sure no one's here. I feel like I would have heard someone by now. So we've got, oh my god, we've got so far to go. We're all the way over there. And we've got to get really far away, so that means we kind of need a vehicle. Just climbing up top of this hill. Ah, oh, there's a vehicle, there's a vehicle. Okay, might be saved. I'm worried about green not realizing quite what a problem that we're in. But we'll see. I hadn't looked at the zone at all. Is it left-hand drive? Yeah. All the driving's in first person. And the driving is so much more fun than Warzone. You actually, like, can slide and stuff, which is nice. And nearly hit a tree. Right, I need to... You also do have fuel. You can see there, it's got about half a tank in it. But I think that should be enough for what we need. I'm going to go pick up this guy, or try to pick him up. Because maybe he hasn't looked at the map either and doesn't realise. Is he... Is he coming? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? He's going... He's going away. I think he might be new, like me, because he's messing around with that stop. I might be able to drive in and get close to him. Oh, he's doing a redeployment thing. What is this? What is this? Um, okay, we're dancing. I can dance too. Cool. We're dancing. Our teammate's actually killing people. But... There's a helicopter. Is that for us? Is that going to take us into the zone? Bloody hope so, because if not, I'm in a bit of trouble. Way Okay, I'm in the air. This is very cool. It is taking us towards the zone. Oh my god, it's flying for ages. I thought it would like, yank us into the air like a redeploy boon and we'd be done. But no, we are going for a ride. I'm still not convinced this is better than the car, to be honest. But we are going fast. There's what looks to be a... Why is there a big storm on the map there? Okay, not sure. Um, we're still doing okay. Health-wise. We're going to be out of the zone soon. We're very high up. Right. And we're out of the gas. That's good. Can you like, eat while you're doing this? No, you can't eat while you're doing this. Where are we going to be going? Over to the others, maybe? Oh, there's a... There's a... There's a... There's a tornado. Is this going to be a problem? No, apparently not. Go for a tornado. Absolutely fine. Just a bit cold. Yeah, you would think this would be very cold, especially because I've got bare feet. I'm going to go join the others. 
Yellow is down here. Alex is down here. I'm gonna go join him. He's in a fight. I need to wait. I need to have some painkillers. Just because I was in the gas for a while, I guess. Waiting for that bloody thing. Might have an energy drink as well. He's running up here. Oh god, there's someone here. Oh no, that's Alexandra, I think. Oh, it's not Alexandra. Oh, he's crawling in the gas. He's fine. Oh, he's... He's, he's making sure he's dead. Right, there's some more shots over here. Right, got them too, dead. I think they were shooting at a teammate. I think I just saved his life. He's hoping. Slightly worried about that vehicle on the left. Okay, it's going. No, it's going in the zone. It's fine. Still some shots going down this valley. I don't know if I can pick a couple of people off before... Don't know what vehicle my team are in. Whether they're gonna come pick me up, or are they just in a two-seater? Oh, they're in a two-seater. No, oh, it's alright. It's alright. <laughs> they're in a tiny little two-seater, which means I can't be a part of it. I probably shouldn't run along this ridge line. At least Alex is coming with me. How far have we got to run? Oh, it's not that far even. Like, even if I got caught in the gas now, I'd be fine. Alexandra is very, very weak. I'm not sure if I want to get in a car driven by someone that's bleeding horrifically. They just went and picked up a car, I just saw. But I don't know if I want that. We are out in the open. Yeah, maybe I should put my gun away. Run a little bit faster. Are they healing? Oh yeah, they're healing now. Good. Phew. Right. Where are we gonna go? This town seems to be the edge of the zone. You don't necessarily want to be right on the edge of the zone just because you're gonna have to run again in a second. Also, making this quite hard to be stealthy going into this town. The map just feels so huge. Like These feel like real little towns that you come across. I feel like I don't get that sense in Warzone, really. Okay, everyone's getting in this. Everyone's getting in this. Do, do, do. I'll run over and get in this. Why not? The Dacia! I can hop out, I think. Oh, no, I can't hop out of this. You cannot lean out of a Dacia. So now I just need to trust the driver a little bit, not to crash into it. any of... The trees. Um, trust is eroding, I would say. Are we going to catch up to sensors? Did they see somebody? Or are they just responding to the gunfire? Okay, well, how far have we got to go? We've got to go quite a way again. Can't see anybody in that town, they're, and they're going to have a lot of cover compared to us. So this, um, I'm playing this before the update. I know Jack Frags did a video on PUBG the other day, yesterday maybe, um, and it was very, very different. And that's because the PC have had an update. I think the Xbox gets it in like a week or two. The PC updates are a little bit ahead of console. But the reason I'm playing on console is basically because apparently it's a bit easier. People on PC are super good at the game. People on consoles are a lot more kind of casual PUBG players. Um, and that's good for me. That fits, you know, well for me. Especially while I'm trying to learn the game. Maybe I'll switch over and play some PC at some point, see how different it is. There's a little snowmobile there. But I'm happy with this mode now. I kind of want to meet up with Sense. He's been playing in quads basically by himself this whole time. I don't know if he's got any kills. I haven't really paid any attention. Oh, there's a load of boxes and stuff there. Whoa, he's at a side. That was cool. There's no cover. There's no cover. 
He must have a very long range gun to be able to cope with this. Oh, I don't like this at all. Could be someone in here. There's a guy there. Can I shoot like a far away? Surely that guy just broke his legs. Slightly concerned about that snowmobile sound. It's probably fine. They're going to be able to hold us out a little bit here. There's a whole team here. I'm in trouble. Oh, he killed me straight away. I was changing guns. Oh, and the other guy was right out. Yeah, that was bad. I was in a lot of trouble there. I'll spectate the rest of my team go and fight them. I moved up and just ended up completely surrounded by that team. That was my bad for not sticking with the team, really. Oh, death came quickly. I shot that guy with the Mini 14 thinking that, like, oh, I could probably down him really quickly, but I just couldn't. And something I do really love about this game is how the guns all are kind of difficult to use. And it means that you can't just be using like an SMG from a long way away. There's a guy there. Let's see. Nice. This is Sensors. Alex got killed and disconnected as well. I think this is Alexandra. Is about to die by the looks of it. Getting shot out by that entire team. Yeah, they're dead. It's all down to Sensors. There's 18 alive, so there's not that many left alive, but that team are going to be a problem. The one that killed all of us. Yeah, all the guns having like a significant downside means you can't just be like using an SMG to shoot people off top of buildings and things like that very easily. And you kind of, you need to stay still while you're firing ideally at any kind of range. Otherwise you're going to be wildly inaccurate. It just kind of makes the whole thing more interesting and a lot slower paced, which I personally like, maybe because I'm old or something. I've been having a great time with this just sort of taking my time and even then you know when i lost it's like oh okay i kind of understand why i lost you know i tried to engage when i had the wrong type of gun out i definitely should have used the org then lots of things like how to manipulate the inventory and the menus and stuff i'm still so slow at so this guy i imagine right now is looking at the map to have a look at like okay what is possible now these little like radio broadcast things i don't know why i can't oh there we go there we go. Um, these little radio broadcast things. If you pick up a chip off your teammate's body, apparently you can actually get, bring them back to life there. So it is like a buyback mechanic. But it's much harder to do that than it is in something like Warzone. I ha personally haven't seen anyone ever bring anyone back, but I haven't played many games of this yet. But it's just like the chances of you surviving with a teammate's chip and then being able to get to one of those places is... Uh, kind of low so he's watching out waiting for people to run out of the gas obviously there's a load of shots to his left 17 still left alive oh you know someone's seen him someone's seen him somewhere in those in that grass they haven't they didn't actually hit him but surely they saw him because those shots were super close why is he looking away from them now 
Right. Doesn't he know there's someone on the right? Oh, maybe that person died in the gas. Maybe, oh, there's a guy down there. At least two people down there, I think. There's one up on that ridge. I think that person on the ridge has seen him. Yep. Oh, I think he just got hit on a frying pan. He's got a frying pan on his back, and if you do get shot in the frying pan, it does protect you. Oh, he got taken out. Well, we can spectate the person who just took him out. Look how fast that is to change what's spectating. God, there's a lot of things. When you come from being a bit fed up of a game, like I am with Warzone right now, and then you hop on over to something like this, where, okay, there's probably got its own problems, and it's got its own issues, but a lot of the things that are problems in Warzone are just so much better in this. Like, Spectator Cam, being able to jump over to Spectator Cam, so much better. To me, at least, it seems so much better. Also kind of interesting in the top left, it shows how much information is being downloaded and how much is being uploaded. For a game like this, I don't know why, I'm kind of surprised that it's 10 kilobytes download and 4 kilobytes upload. You really don't, you know, when people brag about like, oh, I've got gigabyte down and gigabyte up, um, so my internet connection should be good. It just goes to show that that really doesn't matter. You could have a 1 megabyte down and 1 megabyte up and you'd be fine. It's all about the ping. All about the ping and the packet loss and stuff. Right, so this guy, his teammate's down a little way away. This is another interesting change from Warzone, is that you take a long while to bleed out in this. Like, someone, a teammate, can properly try and deal with the threats and like deal with the fight before they come and try and res you. You know, they can come up with a plan and do it, as long as you're obviously not getting shot more. So this is an interesting situation where he's got full health, so even though it takes 10 seconds to res, he still could do it. But... The second he reses this person, they'll be taking damage from the gas. So it's like, unless they've got something like adrenaline or something that they can pump in, they're going to go down as soon as they get back up again. Oh, you can carry them? I didn't even know this was a thing! He just picked the guy up! Because he doesn't have that far to run. Oh my god, this is amazing. He just put the guy on his back. Exactly you know, the problem I was talking about. That Like, oh, the other guy's going to die as soon as he reses him. Oh, the, is he, what's he done? Did he just drop him? Oh, he got downed. How did he get downed? I don't really understand how he got downed then. That's really weird. I've got no idea what happened. It looked like it was going very well. And then they all just died. And I don't really understand why. So talking about games having other problems. That was a cool idea, though, that you can pick people up and then carry them into the zone and res them there. See, I've seen it in other videos where people have picked someone up and then as soon as they've res them, they just die immediately in the gas because you come back with, like, no health. And the gas, once it gets into the final circles and it's closed in for a while, does start doing quite a lot of damage. So, what situation have we got now? There are five people alive. This guy's on a team with two of them. I'm not entirely sure what that kind of bluey smoke that's near them. They're really far apart from each other. Lordy's, like, really far onto the other side of the map. Once the circle closes in, I feel like it gets much, much smaller than the Warzone ones do much more quickly. The games overall take longer, but it seems to all close in. Okay, Lordy's dead. What's Pod's gonna do? He's got a grenade launcher. I think that can fire smoke and stuff. I'm not sure what happens. I think you can maybe choose other things. But let's watch the rest of this gunfight. So there's four people alive. Him versus, I think, there's two right there. And he just immediately downed one. Oh, I can see another one there. That's all three of them. And he's downed the other one. And I'm not really sure what's happened to the other guy. But apparently he's dead too. So that's everyone. That's the game over. Well, we got two kills. I'm rank six. I've enjoyed this. I'm going to be streaming a lot of this this week. So if you want to check that out, make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on, like this video if you enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you for some PUBG. Goodbye.